I was dissatisfied with what I was doing. But wasn't satisfied with the feed cup and stuff that John Deere had to plant beans with. And started working uh, with a mechanism that would plant uh, just one bean seed at a time. And that's the brush meter that Kinsey has. So they could plant four to the foot, six to the foot, ten to the foot, and plant numbers rather than pounds. Because in plant, planting pounds, you ended up with too many, too many beans planted, more than you needed and all. And when I came up, and as crazy as it might sound, that brush meter caused me more problem than the finger pickup did. And I worked on it for probably three or four years. Went up to John Deere and uh, showed it to them and they said no, said we're coming out with the uh, air meter and said that's gonna solve all the problems. And so I even destroyed, I mean, I didn't even keep the working parts and stuff. I, I put it in the shop back by the house and it disappeared. Well, a long, well, it's been about 20 years ago now, I guess. We'd gone to Florida, and we, we were just spending just a little time in fire in the wintertime. And a man in Christian County, Hopkinsville, one, uh, uh, a boy over there, I'd showed him this bean selector thing. And Harry Deckler, that worked for Kinsey for years, he, in fact, he was the one that developed the white planter. And then he went to Kinsey to develop a, a bean mechanism to plant beans in numbers rather than volume. And, uh, and uh, Wesley Hunt told Wayne, he happened to be at the... Uh, Oliver and uh, White and stuff dealership one day when this guy was coming through going on to Kinsey uh, Frank, uh, Harry Eckler and he, he told her he said I know somebody that already has one of those he said what's it <laughs> so Kinsey started when we were in Florida they started calling me and said we want to see what you've got because they would, we would like to have in the field this spring uh, some planting units to uh, to get started on a new bean selector and I they said we want to come down and see it I didn't have anything to show them <laughs> so I took part of the parts that I had left and worked while I was in Florida putting all the thing back together finishing it up and I said, well, I'll meet you at the machinery show in Louisville, and uh, it's in January, February, and mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I said, I'll meet you in uh, Louisville, and we'll talk. And I, th and I just had got it finished up, and I said, well, I'll come out to uh, Williamsburg and show it to you. But in the time... Vince Harshaw that was head of John Deere's patent department for 18 years. You see how the angels line up? <laughs> how, how he had, uh, he, he had ended up being my patent attorney. And he was mine for a while. Yeah. I mean, we're connected just a little bit, maybe just a little bit. But uh, when uh, I, I told Vince, I said, uh, Kenzie's wanting to see this. He said, I wish you'd show that to John Deere again before you go out there. And so I stopped in Moline and showed it to Deere and then went on the next day and, and uh, showed it to uh, Kenzie. And when we were out there, they said, well, said, uh, what do you want for this? And I told him what I would be satisfied with. And they said, well, said, we'll let you know in a, you know, pretty soon. Well, I came on back, and it was about three weeks or a month. I hadn't heard a thing. But I'd gotten an offer from Deer that they wanted to negotiate with me. But I never did answer Deer's letter. 
So Ken and Z said, well, I said, what are y'all going to do? And they said, we already have 13 in the field right now running. <laughs> and, even told and so I went up that summer and we, you know, negotiated the deal. Mm 